Hey guys, it's Manny. I wanted to go over the um, integration of instances, auto scaling groups, and elastic load balancers, as well as the use of the launch template and uh, target groups. So a lot of those things, um, are, it's a lot of things, but they're all they all work together uh, as a unit. And I think it's important to to put them all together, especially if um, you're trying to deploy things so you kind of understand of, uh, how things are going on. Uh, as you can see, I tried it already once or twice to do a run through. And it was just things that I was playing with and, and choosing the wrong thing, I guess. Uh, because I don't like to leave it as default. I just like to see if, it, if things crash. Um, that I was just messing it up for myself. So I had to even, you can even see that I've been like, I've been getting errors and um, I've had to like, uh, see what, what was going on and stuff. Um, but anyways, let I digress. Let's go to the, what we want to start with is a launch template. And then once we create a launch template, we want to use it in our auto scaling group. And it's still deleting, it's been deleting for a little bit, uh, actually. Uh, we want to make sure that we have a load balancer because this is what we're going to connect to eventually, right? To to get to the instances because the elastic load balancer is going to be in the in the front of the instances that we create um, through our, our uh, auto scaling group. And then, of course, the target group is where the instances will, will go into. Okay, so we'll create we'll create uh, I rather do everything really so I'm gonna create a target group uh, my issue was that I had IP addresses selected before you have to select um, uh, here you have to select the instances you cannot oh, okay. alright so we're gonna go to test one VPC HTTP uh, events health checks we're not gonna we're gonna do any of this we're gonna do that afterwards available instances we're not gonna use that one um, because I, I don't want to include that one. I want them. I want the auto scaling group to automatically push the instances to the target group. All right, and that's something that we will see in the auto scaling group. All right, so we created our target group. We're gonna move into a launch template. I want to create a new one. Launch template. Uh, test launch template. I want to call it test uh, Apache uh, one, and then Apache servers, then AMI. Um, I, you can do this one if you if you don't have it just for I have a I have an actual AMI that I created and I want to test that one so I'm gonna use that one the Apache instance that I created from a previous video actually I think um, to micro no here we'll do to micro okay and then the key pair I think it created one test launch t you can create a new key pair as well and download it if you want to if you're going to access it i just like to to make sure that everything is set and choose something if, if it's possible uh, we're going to leave this as the latest one that i created uh, launch wizard 7 um, it has ssh i don't think it has uh, okay http all right so cool uh, the storage, we're going to leave it like that. Resource tags, leave it. We don't need additional network interfaces. If you launch template, we, you want to add advanced uh, advanced things, uh, meaning you want to protect it from being um, uh, terminated. Or if you want to choose what happens when you shut them down, do you automatically terminate? Do you just want it to stop, um, etc. Okay. Then we're going to create launch template and then test one Apache one is what we created. Okay, we don't we don't really need this one. This is just extra. I'm just gonna delete. delete it. Okay, just so just so I only have one. Okay, so now we move into auto scaling group. So the auto scaling group is gonna use that uh, launch template that we created to create uh, instances uh, to scale in, scale out, um, however you choose, right? So ASG uh, Apache one. Launch. You can choose between a launch template and a launch configuration. Launch up is the new kind of version, and that's what we're gonna use this time. Uh, we created, remember, the uh, launch template just right now. Uh, we're using the our AMI, uh, the security group that was there, T2 Micro, the pre version, and the launch template um, that's there. Okay, next, uh, the default VPC, that's fine. Then we're gonna select three AZs, three availability zones. Then we're gonna click on next. Um, we want to enable load balancing 
And uh, if we, if you remember when we created the target group, uh, let me see if I can go here. It was called test one. Yep, it was called test one. So we're gonna go to that one, test one. Um, okay, health checks. You ideally, yes, the EC two is gonna do a health check, but you want. I want the the elastic load balancer to actually do a health check, and and they do that. Um, let's go to load balancers, and I think this, I already created a load balancer here. Okay. Okay. So, uh, just to quickly go over it, there's rules. Um, if the load balancer will, uh, the rule is to forward to test and uh, test. Oh, is test not one? Okay, so we'll just. Change this, so you edit the rule, and uh, we'll forward to, and test one. Then we will update. Okay, perfect. Okay. I just to make sure that this is properly set up. I uh, don't know, group details, HTTP. Hmm. Where are the other target group? Okay, target type instance. That's the target type. I need to make sure the target type is instance. Okay, as long as target type is instance, not as not IP, we're we're okay. So let's go back. Uh, okay, we enable the load balancer. Health check. We wanted to be doing there. The amount of time until EC2 auto scaling performs the first health check on new instances. That's fine. Uh, and enable group metrics collection. Uh, optional. I think I think that's important. Uh, we're just gonna leave it off. Uh, the start capacity. Just quickly to go over it, um, see maximum capacity is three. I don't want it to go over three. However, if your application, you know, it's uh, you want it to be at two, just so it runs uh, very well, or you're just like, no, we just need one. It's barely even used. You you choose whatever you want here, and then you can edit it right as you want. Scaling policies is qu really quickly is to um, to tell uh, auto scaling group when to scale in or scale out. So in this example, we want the CPU utilization. We want the, uh, I guess if CPU usage is at 30, well, scale up because I ain't got time for that. So I need you to scale up as soon as possible uh, after 30 because I don't want to to run into any issues for, for whatever reason, right? That's something that you choose. Um, okay, click on next. Then next, we don't want to do any tags. I uh, just review here, make sure VPC, the three default subnets that you created. Um, it's using your launch template. Uh, load balancing is enabled and it's going to the target group test one. Okay, health checks is as you want it, EC2 and elastic load balancer. Uh, your um, group and scaling policies are set in place. You want it to only run one and the maximum you want it to go is three. And then uh, the scaling policy that you created is as required to maintain average CPU utilization at 30, right? So if it goes to 40, it will just create another one just so you can spread the load between the two instances. Okay, we're gonna create the auto scaling group and hopefully we don't get an error like last time. Okay, awesome. All right, so auto scaling group has been created. We wanna go, if you open your auto scaling group, you can see a lot of things that are happening here. Now uh, we wanna go to activity. We can see that it's automatically uh, launching new EC2 instances. And if you read through here, you can see that it's increasing the capacity from zero because we were at zero uh, into one. Okay. Then we can go to instances and you will see that there's one instance running. And then this instance will automatically go to the target group that we pointed, which was test one. Let me just get rid of this one. So it doesn't confuse me. Test one then targets will see that automatically that instance that was created by the auto scaling group, well, is um, there. So 50 CE and then 50 CE, right? So it's, it's that is that instance. Okay, so now the auto, we created the auto scaling group. It used the launch template. I pushed the instance to the target group and the target group is pointing to the um, Elastic load balancer, um, the application elastic load balancer. And we remember that we put a rule, a security group rule on that instance, on all the instances, right? Um, to use uh, port 80. So we go to 
Let's see, a DNS name here. Should be open. Let's see. Let's see if it loads. Oh, there, put test. And they run. So if that's failing, then that's a problem. I'm gonna have to troubleshoot that. How much metrics? Everything is good. Maybe I'll just I'll give it a little bit because everything looks everything looks okay. Oh, it can be reached. Okay, so it's not it's not too bad. It's not a five four four error or something. Okay, so instances. Oh, it's still initializing. That's why. Okay. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Usually when that happens, you want to go to um, to your instances and just, just check his hey, status. See, but because I went to my um, my target group and it said it was running with no problems, I figured, oh, okay, it's running. I don't need anything. We're okay. So, okay. So, it's still initializing. Uh, just in case. Let me go to my target groups. Sure, it ain't it's not lying to me. Targets. Okay. All right, so it's still loading. It's probably using, because it is a AMI, now I'm gonna create the, I'm gonna check the security group that's assigned to it. Inbound rules, 80, yep, it works. All right, so, yep, the only, the only reason then, at this point, the only reason why we cannot connect is because of that, the Apache instance. Okay, so it's using my AMI as well. It's good to go through all over it's good to have errors because that way you know, hey, okay, something's wrong. What's going on? You can do the monitoring. You can see, okay, what's what's up? And I did give it that 300 second. You know, maybe I should have just gone, make it a lot less. Uh, that's probably it actually. So let's go to my scaling group. And because that, that's taking a very long time. I don't want I don't want the first health check to be 300 seconds in. That's just, that's just ridiculous. I'm going to give it 30 seconds and then I'll go one by one. Okay. All right. So then activity. Okay. Oh, actually while we're, while we're at it, um, let's edit this. I was like, you know what? I want two ins two, uh, two. So now if we go to, because we made the change of the circle patterns two, it'll automatically try to create another instance soon. Okay, so capacity two, my capacity one, yep. All right, so you can see that it's automatically pushing that second one. Two, two checks passed, awesome. The moment of truth. Maybe, not the moment of truth. Everything was fine, so I'm just gonna have to troubleshoot this. Yeah. So let's try here actually. Let's go public IP. Let's go here. Hola Mundo, All right? So it's that one's working just fine. So it's the it's the link between this is the target group and a last little bouncer that it's having an issue. So we'll try to troubleshoot it live, we'll see what happens. Okay, two health checks are proper. Yep, health check protocol is fine. I didn't even choose any of this. It's just the target group, shouldn't do anything. And the load balancer is test. So let's go to load balancer. So what time? The AZs are not different unless they are. Nope, one A, one B. Well, the moon that works too. 
Why can't I fast forward the Oh, interesting. Great services, create, I don't want it to create any of this, tag, listeners, view edit rules. So this could be it. Inbound rules, that's what it is. Put that in here, that's what it is, okay. So HTTP, uh oh, anywhere bro. So it was a secure group in the elastic load balancer. Hmm, okay, all right. I'm kind of glad I scrolled a little bit more than usual. Default VPC security group. Oh, what? I thought, made, I thought I made this change. Great. All right. So now let's try this one time. And Ola Mundo. That's what it was. It was that security group disabling that. Um, but that works. I mean, it is a long video. But it has my troubleshooting and it has me trying to figure out, okay, what is the error so I will, I'm just gonna upload it I'm just gonna upload the video because it helps me to see what I was missing and maybe future troubleshooting tips for for other people that are having the same issue because usually yes you can yes you'll run you'll go through some like steps online to so on how to do things but unless things are breaking <laughs> you won't know where to search so this this is this actually it was, it was good even though I did do it a couple times, um, it was uh, a very good learning experience because I broke literally everything I could break. So I'm just going to delete it. Um, and then once we delete the auto scaling group, I will go to instances. Uh, this will start terminating. Uh, the target group won't terminate. Launch template will stay in place which is fine uh, something that I do that you do want to remember to delete is your last little bouncer so let's go ahead here delete it's gone uh, target groups uh, I don't think I think it's uh, if the other group is still there I don't think it allows me to delete oh it deleted okay great launch template I'm just gonna delete everything just because I like to go from scratch sometimes and it keeps everything neat that way I don't have anything to, to go back to. Uh, let's see. It's still running. I think the other scaling group today is just taking a very long time to to go to the deleting uh, option. So here I'm just going to click on activity. Just making sure. Okay. So it says it's terminating the instance. So it's shrinking the capacity from 2 to 0. Um, waiting for ELB connection draining. Oh. Okay. That's what it's waiting for. But it's in progress. The elimination of the instances is in progress. It's in progress. Okay, they're shutting down the instances, and we're good to go. That's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, future Manuel, I hope you uh, learn from this. Thanks. Bye.